Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Today I've got a question from a viewer. Chris writes, I have a need to print the file names of everything in a folder. Is there a way to do this in Leopard? Well, yes, in fact, there's several ways to do it. Let's take a look. So I've got three ways for you to do this. The first is to use a piece of software. There's two pieces of software out there. The first one will set you only back 15 bucks and it's called Directory Content Printer and it's from Night Owl Software. The second one is one called Print Window and it's from Searchware Solutions. And this second one is a little more complex and allows you to do a couple extra things like print say a CD case or DVD case jacket with the contents of the files in a directory. That could come in handy. All right, so here's the geeky way to do it. The geeky way is to use terminal. You could find that in Applications Utilities. Run terminal and you have a command line interface to your Mac. Use ls to list the files in your directory. You start in your home directory, so here's the folders in your home directory. You can use cd to navigate. So say cd downloads take you into the downloads folder. And then you can list what's there. cd and up, which is two dots, takes you back up. So if you want to put this to the printer, say, you can do ls and then a pipe command, which is the vertical line you get by hitting shift backslash on your keyboard. And you can do lpr, which will send it to your printer if you have one already set up on your Mac. Or you can use open space dash f to send it right to text edit. And then we see it opened up a text edit window right there. So we've got the files and now we can do lots of different things with them. We also have lots of other neat things we can do with ls. For instance, ls dash l will print a list with all sorts of detail information about each file. So ls-l, pipe it to the text edit and we get something like that which gives you file sizes and creation dates. So that could be useful. Now if you need to actually get to a directory that is deep inside your Mac, one of the things you can do is you could CD and then drag by hitting the Option key and the folder icon at the top of a directory listing and pull it in and it will put the entire directory path in there. So for instance I'm going to do that now with this folder. I'm going to go ahead and drag this right here like that and you can see it will add it to the terminal window. There you go. So CD and I've got a complete path to that directory. Okay, so we've seen two ways to do it, but here's a super simple, easy way that may be all you need. Here I've got a text edit window open and I've also got my Applications folder open. I've selected everything in the Applications folder including other folders. I do Command C to copy. Now if I go over to the text edit window and I paste, I'm going to get a lot of icons and stuff. I don't want that. What I want is just the file names. So I can paste matching the style which is in the menu, but you can also do it with Shift, Option, Command, and V. And there we go. I've got a complete list of everything in there. So it's a quick, simple, easy way to do it. And you'll end up with it in TextEdit or another word processing program and you can print from there. So there are three ways to print the files and folders in a directory. If you like this episode and the other MacMost episodes, please subscribe to us at iTunes and tell your friends as well. Also you can review us there. The reviews really help spread the word about the podcast. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.